Good afternoon, it's uh, July the 14th and we're at Honeydale Farm again and looking at the crimper roller. We haven't been able to get on for a couple of weeks, the weather's been holding us up. Um, but we've got a window in the weather now so we're going to have a go. We've run the roller across the rowing bench a couple of times and here's the results. Uh, you can see we've had quite a good um, crimp this time. The key thing that we found and people we've spoken to have said the rye needs to be reasonably mature to crimp properly. And you can see it's at the sort of stage where the grain's starting to fill now. They're still very soft, um, but it is getting us better results than when we started this experiment about five weeks ago. This is some that was crimped about three weeks ago and we have had a kill there. It's taken quite a long time to go off, um, but the rye has started to go over quite nicely. Interestingly, you can see that the vetch has actually come back. So it may have been a mistake to put the vetch in the mix to start with. Maybe in hindsight, we should have done a, a rye or cereal only crop for crimping. Again, you can see the vetch is quite well uh, matured. We've got the pods forming quite nicely, uh, but it also means it's very flexible and supple so again, struggling to crimp that properly. But we'll come back to this in about a week's time and see how it's going. It seems to have crimped better than the previous times. And we'll have another look at it and see how it goes.